Cannon, what does his performance against the Celtics tell you? It tells me he has some things he needs to work on, uh, mainly his jump shot. I believe he'll get in the gym. He'll work on that tirelessly. tirelessly. Uh, Skip, it's kind of like LeBron. Uh, LeBron realized that at a very young age, in order for him to be the player that he wanted to be, he had to develop a jump shot. Teams were just going up on the screens, daring him to shoot. That's They're true. like, I refuse to come out there because we don't believe you can make that, that shot. That is true. Now, they must respect his, his outside shooting. And Ben Simmons needs to get to that point. He also, he's going to work on his free throws also, Skip, because in a situation like in game three, he had the ball. But he didn't feel comfortable that he get, they could possibly foul him and then him have to go to the free throw line. That's true. Skip, he's ahead of the curve in every other aspect. The dude averaged eight rebounds and eight assists a game in his rookie season. He, a rookie season. He's only 21 years of age, yep. so he's only going to get better. And think about it, shooting with no jump shot. Mm -hmm. He knows he doesn't have one, and the team doesn't know, knows he, the opposing team mm -hmm. knows he doesn't have one. And still he gave you 15, 8, and 8. He gave you 16, 10, and 8 in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So that's what it tells me. He needs to get in the gym. He's got to develop a jump shot. He develop a jump shot. You got hell on your hands. You would. And to your point, Michael Jordan didn't have a great jump shot when he came out of Carolina. Magic. Magic had no shot <laughs> yeah. when he came out of Michigan State. And they worked tirelessly in off seasons for about the first three, and they both started to arrive with shots that had to be respected. Right. And then all of a sudden their shot became a weapon. Yes. You know, they, they became lethal shooters, both of them. Right. So... That's a shot that can be worked upon. Correct. That can be, that you can go find in the gym. Mm -hmm. What troubled me, what concerns me going forward are the intangibles because I saw Ben Simmons play big and strong and play with some edge against your Miami Heat. When they got in some trouble after they blew game two at home, the mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade, Kevin Hart game, then Ben and company go to Miami, and I just thought he took over those games in Miami. Right. I He shrank against the Celtics. Mm -hmm. He looked lost against the Celtics. He, he I, I didn't see any refuse to lose against the Celtics. I didn't see that thing that I could see in Magic and Michael when they were NBA babies. You could just see it in them. They were going, well, obviously saw it in Magic because he won the finals. Yeah, he he goes, finals he goes, wins the finals, yeah. <laughs> And, and even the young Michael Jordan, well, we can go back to the, his freshman year championship game against Georgetown. He makes that shot. You could just see right away he had that thing inside him where he's just going to he, he's going to do whatever it takes, whatever he can muster up inside him. He's going to fight you to the death. Yes. And I didn't see fight to the quote unquote death from Ben Simmons in this series. It's it, troubling to me. Joy had in the lead. He was a minus 63 yep. when he was on the court. He's there plus 48 when he's off it. Your first or second best player can't have that kind of plus minus skip. That, that can't happen. I can see, okay, my, you know, you lose minus 10. Okay, I get it. Minus 63 and plus 48 when I, you're I off think, the court. Yeah, I think ESPN had the stat that it was the worst plus minus in a playoff series. I'm sorry, the fourth worst in the last 20 years, just in general, not just for a rookie. No, no, you're better okay. than that. Wow. But he'll get in the gym. He'll work. Because let's just say for the sake of argument, Skip, he never becomes a, uh, a consistent outside shooter. The dude still gave you 15 to 8 and 8. So let's just say for the okay, sake I of argument. I got that he, because he's so gifted and I'm still, I'm convinced. And he's still he's, seven foot tall. Seven feet tall. <laughs> and he gets to play alongside Embiid, and they right. do have some pretty good yeah. rapport. They seem to get along and they seem to be able to feed off each right. other. Except when it was time right. to get you home, the point guard, Ben Simmons, couldn't get you home with a 22-point lead or a five-point lead with a minute four to go in overtime. Right. Couldn't get you home. But Boston didn't make the mistake the Miami Heat did yep. because Boston say we dare you to shoot. Yeah, Miami, did. Miami's instinct is to hug up on everybody. Yeah, and now he's going to the basket, laying it up or dunking it on he you. Was. So now my, uh, uh, the Boston Celtics, Brad Stevens, instructed his guys, play off him. If he's knocking out a 10-footer, he's knocking out a 15-footer, okay, we're going to live with that. But what we can't live with is him dunking, laying it up, or getting to the basket, dumping it off to Embiid, and then Embiid dunking it on us. So we'll just get a hand up. If he was to shoot it, skip. In five games, the dude didn't make a shot outside the paint. He did not. Let that sink in and, at seven foot tall. And let this sink in, that little T.J. McConnell at 6'2", 
kept coming in, giving them energy and spark right. and life that Ben wasn't able to muster as the point guard. Right. It was TJ who created the shot by dribbling through the lane and down the baseline where he kicked it out to a wide-open J.J. Redick, who then alligator armed the three that could have won the game last night. Although T.J. McConnell is not a household name, yeah. he was undrafted, yeah. you have to respect him shooting the ball from outside. You do. So you can't play him the same nope. way that you play uh, uh, Ben Simmons. They're not going to lag off him and say, we dare you to shoot the three. They're not going to lag off T.J. McConnell and say, we dare you to shoot this 15-footer. Mm. They will do that with Ben Simmons. So Ben Simmons must mm. spend a heap of time in the gym, Skip, no and get better because I believe he will. Mm -hmm. And then we'll think about joining. Mm. Ben we will consider it. it. Yeah, we'll think about it. Will the Cavs win game one in Boston? We'll discuss that next. Mm -hmm. <laughs>